Hi, I'm Gavin Brandy and welcome to the Luthiers Lair. We're going to have a chat today about this little uh, pickup winder that I've built and that you'll find on pitballguitars.com on the forum and uh, go into some detail in terms of how it's built there. <coughs> so this is our, our little uh, unit, <coughs> uh, normally about four to five hundred dollars if you buy it from Stu Mac, but this machine over here will set you back probably about 140 bucks in a, a few hours worth of your time. Now, <coughs> as you can see, uh, that's the little on switch. Uh, the on switch obviously drives the motor. Um, the motor is regulated through this little control over here. And the count over here will tell you exactly how you're going in terms of your number of revolutions that you need. Now, <coughs> the best place to get your kit wire from is a crowd called brocot.co.uk. That's where I got my wire from. It's incredibly thin. Um, probably difficult to pick up on the actual camera but this is the stuff that you will wind 10,000 times around your pickup to give you great resistance and to give you a great pickup. <coughs> uh, it is also possible to get some of this stuff from Stumac <coughs> of course uh, there are a lot of kits as you might be able to see over here <coughs> uh, that you can buy from Stumac to actually build your pickup and these will obviously just be connected onto this spot over here on the unit. <coughs> of course, <coughs> most important thing when you're winding your pickup is to keep your very, very thin wire on the pickup itself. <coughs> this unit over here is designed to hold the pickup and you might see over here there's a little reed switch <coughs> and this reed switch combined with the magnet that's attached to the back here will count the number of times that this goes round. Now, building a single coil is, is, is fairly simple <coughs> utilizing this method. Um, we set the counter to zero, as I've just done there. And the best way to do it, thread your pickup onto here with some double-sided tape and through this little chamber over here. <coughs> I've created a ability here to effectively move these left or right. To make sure that my thread stays on the the pickup um, if you don't do that you're likely to end up with it winding uh, onto the left or the right hand side of the the pickup uh, actually off the pickup and then you have a complete mess on your hands <coughs> this unit comes complete with a motor that runs at 700 uh, rev revolutions a minute <coughs> you don't really want to run at that speed you want to build yourself up quite slowly until you get to a decent sort of speed so <clears throat> typically I will run it, um, as far as the motor is concerned, up to about five or six, seven, and you can see it starts to count at this point. <clears throat> as I say, with a, a single core pickup, you just really need to wind the pickup in the direction that it's going right now. And if I slow down and you have a look at that, it's currently running in a clockwise direction. <clears throat> now the most important thing, of course, is to be able to reverse that. Now I have a switch on the back here which is a special switch designed to actually make the whole thing go in reverse but the most important thing is to make sure that you don't automatically throw it into reverse because you can actually damage the motor. <coughs> this little unit over here has a, a switch that will, will stop from doing that so if I try and put it down there we go it turns it off first and then immediately turns it over onto this other side. Now it's going in an anti-clockwise direction. So when you're building a humbucker, you will want to build the one coil with a clockwise direction and the second one in an anti-clockwise direction. So this is our little unit. <coughs> if you want to find out more, check us out on pitbullguitars.com uh, and you will find the design and the instruction on the forum for building the pickup winder. Wish you a lot of luck with it. I'm Gavin Bramley from the Luthiers Lair.